But you know, uh, we, we have a few minutes left, but I want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, uh, why, why he was assassinated. You know, the literature out there, uh, and even the King family, they're, they're convinced that the government had something to do with it. But there's uh, hints. Uh, I've read a lot about the Kennedys being assassinated, and there are a lot of details about exactly the maneuvering of the uh, of the person who was going to get blamed, along with the CIA. I haven't read as much about Martin Luther King, but uh, but those who have uh, and know a little bit about it, they they claim very seriously that CIA was involved and maybe the FBI even yeah. more. The Memphis police were involved and they had to set the stage for it so that uh, the police backed off and, and, and you know, maneuvered these, uh, m maneuvered the events and, and have somebody captured and found guilty and, and this sort of thing. But uh, they, they must have felt pretty darn strong that they had to uh, assassinate him. And I think much more is coming out about it. You know, there's this the letter, I think, in 65 that the FBI anonymously sent him, encouraging him to kill himself, you know. And there were, there were other things, too. He was constantly under surveillance and knew that he was. And I think this, you know, is sort of uh, what we call gaslighting, you know, where the secret agencies will, will do little things to people that they have under surveillance to sort of convince them that they're losing their mind this happened to Ernest Hemingway, who was also suspected of being a communist like Martin Luther King was. They would do little things, and he kept saying, uh, you know, I'm being followed, they're after me, and everyone <laughs> thought he was crazy, and they, and they put him into the mental home, and it turns out it was all true. Yeah. So it looks like they were fooling with Martin Luther King in the same way. You know, there was one story about uh, the assassination I thought was interesting because uh, they, they have the evidence that there was a... FBI agent that was on the, uh, you know, inside and spent time on a daily basis with Martin Luther King. And, uh, and I think he was a photographer, Ernest Withers. Yes. And uh, he, uh, he, he was the one that, uh, and then also there was an individual that said that, well, this was, I was standing in such and such position, but I had to move at the precise time in order for them to have a clear shot. And he yeah. said this years afterwards. So the evidence is, I, I think, overwhelming. And even though they, the government wouldn't investigate it, of course, uh, if they did, it would be just another cover-up. But the King family had some uh, civil, uh, you, you know, trials on this, and and uh, they were found guilty on this. The people that were that uh, that uh, there was a conspiracy uh, to kill them. But uh, this this is, and just think of today um and i'm not i'm not going to talk about sides on the argument on the uh, the uh cia and mm -hmm. trump right now but uh it, it was uh it, it was al almost uh, what 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 are they doing this for you know uh why why uh, would the cia be so involved and and particular and it's been it's been way back you know it wasn't it wasn't just uh, you know once or twice. It's it's constant, and that they sit in the CIA. I think is uh, you know very very deadly, and uh, sometimes uh, I guess we shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> but it, it is sort of serious.